Oregon's top lawyer says the state will not defend Oregon's ban on gay marriage. State Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum just issued a statement saying that ban won't hold up in court that's based on U.S. Supreme Court rulings. And we sent Lisa Balick to get answers on the impact of this announcement. Lisa. Jenny, I'll tell you, the folks that are trying to get the ban on gay marriage overturned are jubilant about this. And they say they are not giving up their fight to gather the signatures to put that measure on the ballot to overturn Oregon's ban on gay marriage. Now, let me tell you why this is such an important issue. The U.S. Supreme Court hasn't yet decided whether there is a constitutional right to same-sex marriage. But the reason that Governor Kitzhaber and the Attorney General are not going to defend Oregon's ban in court is that the U.S. court ruling last summer said that same-sex couples are entitled to equal treatment. Since then, federal judges in several states have struck down laws like Oregon's banning same-sex marriages. Today's announcement from the Attorney General is wonderful news to those who are suing the state to try and ban, get the ban overturned. Our now adult children uh, who we had together are also celebrating with us that our our, um, oh gosh, <laughs> that our family will be acknowledged in, in, by our state, and it, it's incredibly meaningful to us. Now, Oregon's Attorney General's office has said Oregon does recognize marriages performed in other states, but allowing same-sex marriages is still banned for now. Now, there are 17 states and the District of Columbia that now allow gay marriages. The court battle for this to happen in Oregon, though, is still underway. That is scheduled to be heard in April. So it could be then whether we find out if Oregon does go ahead and overturn the ban on gay marriages. If not, it's something that will likely be on the ballot for voters. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Bailick, Coin 6 News.